We've had the most click stories on Sky News. Now, the story's moving up across the internet. Joining me is Ollie Mann from the Answer Me This podcast series. Ollie, good to see you tonight. Hello. Welcome to the programme once again. Thank you Okay. Much. William Shakespeare, Getting Down With The Kids. Yeah. Now this, How? This is To Be Or Not To Be In It, uh, which is a new book of Shakespearean parody, which is accompanied by a website, uh, and also the sound of my former English tutor at university, spinning in his grave. Um, <laughs> this is uh, a guide to Shakespeare for the youth. Um, so uh, this chap, Martin Baum, he's, he's rewritten Shakespeare's plays on his website. Uh, you're seeing, um, oh, here we are, this is, this is Hamlet, Prince of Denmark. There was something minging in the state of Denmark which was making Hamlet all uncool. Uh, <laughs> so that's a typical example. There's also uh, two geezers of Verona, uh, Macbeth. Uh, you get the idea with that. <laughs> yes, Macbeth, <laughs> double F. OK. A logo causing blushes for the Treasury? Oh, I love this. I'd never heard of the Office of Government Commerce until today. Um, yeah. But they are the OGC, uh, or as I like to call them, the Onanism Graphic Centre. Uh, <laughs> what they've done is they've paid £14,000 to a brand consultancy to redesign their logo, which, when you spin it round, looks a little bit uh, salacious. Uh, it's Do, a, a does our man. graphic spin round, or do you just have to use your imagination? If you, oh, you, you have to use your imagination. If you tilt your head okay, to the just, side. To, yeah, okay, yeah, right. And okay, think of cranks. Yeah. Uh, Rumours swirling that the James Bond film is jinxed. They've had some problems, haven't they? They have, actually, some really serious problems. This is Quantum of Solace, the new Bond film which is filming in Italy. They've had four sort of quite tragic accidents over the last week. First, a man turned up at the set and had a heart attack. Uh, then a man driving an Aston Martin down to the set managed to drive it off a cliff. He survived, but he, he said it was an accident. He doesn't understand how it happened. Mm. Then one of the stuntmen had a crash, and then the other day, uh, two stuntmen seriously injured. Um, so there obviously is a problem, and they've halted the filming. Uh, but, of course, web forums are alive with su suggestion that this is a jinx. It's a jinx. Uh, it's like when they were making The Exorcist, uh, and people were dying on the set of that, uh, except for the web generation, of course. News travels faster, and rumour spreads even uh, more quickly. I mean, special effects guys, it goes with the territory. They have accidents, you think, don't they? You'd think that would be part of the job as a stuntman. Yeah, exactly. And I'd, I'm not sure who's putting this story out, but it, it certainly isn't anyone from the Aston Martin press office. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's heels causing quite such a stir. Tell me more. Yeah, web stories don't often divide so tightly down gender lines, but I wouldn't think there's many men looking at this today on the web. Uh, but uh, the women of Britain have been checking out uh, Gwyneth's heels. Mm. Uh, she was wearing Alexander McQueen last night in Leicester Square. They are extraordinary. They, they are quite are large. They? Just to put it mildly. I'd just like to say, Ollie Mann of Answer Me This Podcast was wearing brown duffs on tonight's Guy.com News. Okay. Uh, so I expect sales spike on that as well. All right. <laughs> but it's incredible how, you know, a celebrity endorsement really gets people looking into these designers. And the fact that we can all click on where they are and the information is there just like that. Exactly. It's part of the life, isn't it? Uh, the odds of having identical triplets, what are the odds? Uh, no, well, I had to write them down to remember them. 200 million to one, that's the odds. Mm. Uh, and we're looking at Gabriella, Alessia and Olivia here, uh, who are a set of identical triplets from Britain. Um, like I say, 200 million to one chance of, of uh, these ladies hatching, so uh, that's quite incredible, really. Not bad. I saw the interview with her a little earlier on. She asked, is she going to have any more kids? She said, uh-uh. Yeah. Well, they're, they're 22 <laughs> Instant family. Yeah, well, they're 22 and 23, the parents. So, I mean, you know, if you're starting a family, that's... Uh, quite a way a to go, hefty, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> we wish them well. I hope they have a peaceful weekend, and we do to you as well. Lou, thanks very much for being with us tonight. Pleasure. Uh, on our